today, let's demo a quick change to these little OLED screens that come on certain models of all-button controllers. These screens come standard on several different models and brands, including ones from Hout42, DualPad, Arcade PCBs, and others utilizing GP2040 CE firmware. And regardless of screen size, big or small, they get changed in the exact same way. Now, a lot of these screens will default to a temporary splash screen of the brand name, and then after a few seconds, demonstrate the button inputs in real time. I like to keep that feature, so usually limit my own splash screens to around 25 seconds or so. More on that here in just a bit. First, we need to grab ourselves an appropriate image. Now the art needs to be pretty small, only 128 by 64 pixels, and it needs to be black and white. Just use Photoshop or a GIMP style program, and you can fab up whatever you want. And even though I don't have experience with it, Pixel Art is an online tool which also comes recommended, so I'll leave a link to it in the video description. For this demo, I'm going to use Photoshop and create a 128 by 64 pixel file in black and white. Then we can play around with our concepts. We can find an appropriate image on the web and just paste it in. I've made a font based one with my handle. I've tied in cracks around an arcade cabinet art theme. I've integrated some footprints with a Scooby theme. Really, you can have a lot of fun with this. So long as it's 128 by 64 in black and white, you're golden. I typically use PNGs, but these are the supported image formats. If you're not overly artistic or want something quicker or pre-made, then there are plenty of options on that front as well. There are some community splash screens right on the GP2040C website, and there is also a user-curated library of images on the Hout42 Discord. Some really talented users have made some great little images. For this demo, I'm going to use this Cheems dog meme from user at Thorn. Okay, so now that we've got our image, we need to access the GP2040CE web configurator. We achieve that by holding down the S2 button on our device and plugging it into the PC. Then we type this address in the web browser and we can begin configuration. Once the page loads, simply navigate to the display configuration tab. We have options to mirror our image, invert our blacks and whites, and set the splash screen duration. I like the button press inputs, so usually just set the splash screen for around 25 or 30 seconds. If you want your graphic up there indefinitely, just set the number to zero for always on. From there, we just hit save, and there we have it. Now when you boot up your controller, the image should be displayed. It's all very simple, and there are tons of cool customization options to put your own unique stamp on your device. If you found value in the content, I would appreciate a like. Thanks for watching. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.